Well, hello everybody. I'm uh, gonna take about five minutes here and make a video on uh, about expectations because um, I've real I've been uh, thinking a lot about that this year. Uh, the whole concept of expectations and specifically as it as it relates to as they relate to relationships with a woman in my case um, really in general I mean the con it's the concept applies to a lot of other things could be expectations of making money expectations of succeeding at anything expectations of a relationship working out expectations that someone will love me or not expectations that somebody will be attracted to me or not whatever I mean it could be right okay so I don't know um, I don't have a script just ad libbing here um, still waking up but I kinda have a problem with this uh, hearing a lot of women say over the years I've heard this various times uh, you know that you shouldn't have any expectations. I don't want you to have any expectations. Blah, 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 blah. It's uh, okay. A woman is allowed to want whatever she wants. She can want me to have expectations to be with her. She can want me to have expectations that she's not interested in me at all. She can want me to not have any. Why can't I? There we go. Sorry about that. Um, she can not have, she can want me to not have any expectations about anything so that she can feel more free to do whatever or not do whatever and not feel any pressure or obligation, which I'm not even putting on her necessarily. It, I mean, I suppose I could, it's possible I could try to do that. I would actually try not to do that. But also she, um, a woman in my experience, um, a lot of the time a woman won't want to feel that a guy expects anything because she, of her own um, difficulty in setting her own boundaries or her own maybe compassion or the part of her that wants to give people what they want or need sexually or otherwise um codependency all of that crap um so okay you know well, i mean i i respect and understand that a woman can feel whatever she feels and she has every right to but as a guy and speaking for myself i don't feel that i'm obligated to expect or not expect what she wants me to necessarily and what i mean by that is uh, to get a little more specific i it's been really interesting to me to hear the different all well, within the new age or just society in general but a lot of the i hear a lot of ideas in the new age community frankly i think a lot of them are total bullshit and some of them are totally valid um but i've heard you shouldn't expect anything. I've heard you get, we get what we expect. We've all heard this, right? We get what we expect. Okay. I've heard Abraham in a former friend's, one of her posts, or I don't know. I came across it somewhere through Abraham, the challenged entity that doesn't exist. That's a, uh, that's a woman that gave a name to her expressing what she expresses, and I'm sure some of it is universal truth. I mean, we're all channels. We can all, we all tap into universal truth, and I, th I guess we can all tap into universal bullshit, if I can coin a phrase, or we, we can tap into illusions or believe, buy into things that aren't true. Um, I think that's pretty clear. I guess I'm going to go more like six minutes, or we'll see how long it goes, because um, I'm coming up on five already. Um... So, I, so I've heard Abraham uh, apparently say, I'm pretty sure it was Abraham, that 
he wants us to expect good things, right? It makes sense. I mean, if it's true that we get what we expect, and I think it, it is true a lot of the time, um, and sometimes not, you know? I mean, it's just a lot of these sayings, these wise sayings or these aphorisms that people like to repeat, parrot over and over again, because they hear other people saying them and they just repeat them. I mean, it's human nature. Uh, I don't think I think a lot of them are not as absolute as they claim to be. Um, they they may apply in a lot of cases, and then there are exceptions as well. I've expected really expected good things to happen, um, or, and been open to that, and and not had it happen, not and had had it not happen because I can't control other people and I don't want to. But um, I've had feelings or my gut or instincts that. <sighs> Um, led me to want to, ex of course, I always, ideally, always want to expect good to come into my life. I, I would love to be able to always expect that all the my heart's deepest desires, my needs would be met, and that I would, you know, just have a great life and, and just be happy just having my needs met and experiencing everything that I would like to experience and all that um, but you know that's a little unrealistic to to expect that all the time but it would it would be nice um, I I think to I, th I think that when I am in a place where I really expect something good to happen like for example today I'm I'm going to Earth Fair again with some of my nature photos in an hour or so and uh, around noon, if I make it there, but definitely by, by one, no later than one. And uh, I'll be there till about four. Um, it would be great to, to have a real deep feeling of, you know, I, I expect to make $100 today or whatever. You know, I expect to sell all of my photos. People are going to love them. I know they're awesome. I know they're beautiful. I mean, I've gotten enough feedback from enough different people that really like them a lot. But that doesn't always translate into sales, and people don't have unlimited amounts of money. So there's a lot of factors to consider. But if I did expect, if I always expected to be accepted and loved and have my work appreciated and have that people would want to own it, would want to buy it, um, it's a good way to feel, <laughs> right? And I, I'm speaking about for myself because I don't want to speak for other people, but I, I really think a lot of what I'm saying applies to everyone, I think. Um, it's great to expect to have our needs met, and it really, really sucks, really friggin' sucks to expect to not have our needs met. And I have, unfortunately, a lot of experience with that in my life, and it's totally based on childhood experiences. I'm trying to... <laughs> Okay, conscious language, I'm looking for an alternative to, to using the word try, but sorry Yoda. Um, but it, I guess that's how it feels. I'm trying to, um, to expect good things in my life and definitely not to expect rejection. To expect rejection, to expect to be hated by people even though inside I know who I am and I know that I'm a good person, it doesn't matter. I, I really believe that I deserve a lot of good things that I have not received in my life or haven't experienced. But somewhere deep in there, there's, there's a real belief or expectation that other people, as far as my needs that apply, you know, that relate to relationships with other people, that I'm not going to have those needs met. People are going to hate me. They're going to find something to not like about me. They're not going to be attracted to me. They're like, you know, various reasons why they're not going to whatever, not going to give me what I need or love me or want to be with me or make love to me or whatever the case may be. Um, and it really, really sucks. So try to expect good, right? That's what Abraham says must be right. So I would like to expect good in my life. So let's say I meet a woman that I'm attracted to in my heart, physically, or both, ideally. 
And um, I'd love to have project that, you know, that confident male. Oh, screen went dark. Sorry, screensaver. I would love to always project project that confident male mm, image of a person who really ex just expects you know I just I just expect women to just want to make love to me I mean um, how could you not I'm a good-looking guy right <laughs> you know I'm a I'm a good-looking guy I'm smart I'm funny I'm sensitive I'm caring I'm a good lover it's been a while but I am and all of these reasons why yeah man of course I should totally expect I'm being a little joking a little bit I mean we all have our faults and we all have our good points and I know what my good qualities are so why don't I expect why don't I always expect women to want to be with me to be attracted to me to want to make love to me to, to just want to spend time with me to appreciate me um, it's totally based on childhood shit that I didn't want didn't ask for didn't deserve People can say, oh, I can't, you, your soul came into this body because it wanted to experience abandonment and rejection. It's like, fuck you, you stupid ass. I'm sorry. I, I just, I have no use for that crap. I really, it, it's the silliest, most ridiculous crap I've ever heard in my life. Um, that some soul wants to experience suffering and, and chooses to be born in a family or two parents where they're going to experience trauma just heartache you know just lose their peace of mind and I, I don't want to whine here but i'm saying you know, everyone we've all had bad experiences to one extent or another and uh i just think that's nonsense i think a a child wants to experience love and having its needs met and being raised in a healthy way and my parents did some things right, but they screwed up a lot of things too. Anyway, that's I forgive them, whatever, that's the past.